Hi, in this session, let me give an overview of VMware Cloud Provider Hub by going over the features supported in a provider and a tenant console. VMware Cloud Provider Hub enables partners to drive multi-cloud managed services using VMware's strategic XaaS cloud offerings. The Cloud Provider Hub provides service providers access to VMware's strategic solution in a simple consumption model. Contractually, it's easy to subscribe and integrate to all the systems needed to manage the transactions for service providers as well as the tenants. The hub provides a single operational management plane console for both service providers and their tenants. Let us view the VMware Cloud Provider Hub console from both the provider and tenants view. Adam from Acme is a service provider with multiple tenants. When Adam logs into VMware Cloud Services using his VMware ID credentials, he lands in VMware Cloud Provider Hub console. As a provider, Adam can do service management, which is designed for provider to self-service. View list of services available for provisioning. Basically, publish, subscribe, and control service lifecycle and provision the service for tenant. Tenant lifecycle management, add, edit, tenants. Add a tenant, new tenant by providing tenant org and other required information. Select a tenant and edit the tenant details or select a tenant and manage service for that tenant. Providers can manage users from identity and access management. They can add a new user with a valid VMware ID and provide a, any of the provider roles. Can select a user and edit and change their current roles. Can pro select multiple users and can remove users after a confirmation. Providers can generate and download usage report, aggregated usage per SKU, as well as effective usage, broken by tenants, and for the period selected in the dropdown. They can further filter on the service and SKU to view only those usage. Using the payment method, they can view the payment method details, which is used to pay for all the services for the provider as well as the tenant orgs under this provider organization. Providers can use the support center for creating and managing the tickets with VMware on behalf of their tenants. They can create a support ticket for any of their organization, have an internal ID which they track in their system, and can view all the support tickets for the different orgs in one single view. They can even manage the status of the tickets by selecting the ticket and changing the status of required. They can get contextual help by additionally by using the help button and also an online chat with VMware support people and creating support requests using the help button. Providers can manage all their tenants under this provider organization from this provider console. Select the tenant organization and can switch to that tenant organization to manage service for that tenant, can configure the service that's been enabled for this tenant, can manage tenant access, can decide on the tenant access level for this service can do user management by adding a user with a valid VMware ID and providing a tenant user role. Can select a existing tenant user and edit a role. Change the rules for that user. Can select multiple user and remove if needed, but with a confirmation. Provider can generate and download the usage report only for this organization, this tenant organization, broken by service. 
it this is an aggregated usage per SKU for the period that has been selected. A provider will always have to do tenant management and support management for all the orgs from the provider organization. Let us view the VMware Cloud Provider Hub console from a tenant's view. Adam had created a tenant org convo and made Charlie the admin contact for that org. So let's log in as Charlie and when Charlie logs into the org convo, he can do service management, user management and view usage. He can consume the services that have been provisioned by Adam, which is VMware Cloud on AWS here with a vSphere access. He can do user management, can add user with a valid VMware ID with the tenant role, can edit e existing users and change their tenant roles, can select multiple users and remove users if relevant. Charlie can generate and download the usage report, can view the aggregated usage per SKU for the period selected, and can additionally filter on service and SKU. We just saw how easy is it for the service provider to manage service lifecycle management as well as customer lifecycle management using VMware Cloud Provider Hub and for tenants to consume these services. Thanks for watching and refer to VMware Cloud Provider Hub site for updates and other resources.